Alright guys, so I mentioned that as as part of my everyday close to me bag, it's a SOE bag, that I keep some medical stuff in here in addition to stuff like phone chargers and things like that. So the couple things I keep in here that could be for a life and death situation, probably the most important, a uh, Vertec, Vertec standard, I forget the model, it's an old radio, that has all my fire band channels, sheriff, police department. And I know a lot of people can't keep something like this. They don't have the permissions through FCC and all that. Um, keep a cell phone or a battery charger for your cell phone, things like that, some way to contact the outside world. Also in here I keep a CPR mask, um, just in its own little pouch. You don't have to have a CPR mask to do CPR. For God's sakes, if you haven't learned how to do CPR, go learn. It's not that hard. Um, and even if you're in a situation where you don't want to give them breath, which fix yourself first, but uh, hands-only CPR is effective to an extent, so learn it at least. Uh, I keep a length of webbing, just one inch flat webbing, tie it around somebody to drag them to safety or tie up a, a, an arm, use them for handcuffs if, the, if it warrants um, a million things. A marker to write down patient info because they might be conscious and breathing while you're there, but soon after they aren't, and EMS would really like that information. Uh, an extra Leatherman, I carry a Leatherman with me all the time. This I think is actually an SOG but just an extra multi-tool. It, uh, getting people out of a car or somebody's tangled up in something, a million one uses. A pair of gloves. If it's a car wreck or something like that, I wouldn't recommend these. These are the thinnest gloves I own. These are just for light work. But a pair of mechanics gloves, they're $15. Or even get you a pair of $5 leather gloves if there's a car wreck. There's going to be glass, there's going to be twisted metal, things like that. Put on your rubber gloves and throw your big boy gloves over top of it to get in and move stuff around and work. Uh, other than that, there's an extra tourniquet in here. Um, and then a bunch of stuff that I use on a daily basis. And if you don't want to have a burner phone or a cheap prepaid phone, an old phone that you don't use anymore, keep it charged up, keep it in here. As long as it has a SIM card, it can dial 911. It, if it has no contract, no minutes, no whatever, if it has a SIM card in it, you can dial 911. And you'll get better service that way because it'll bounce any tower around you, or at least this is what I've always, this is what I've been told. It'll bounce off any tower, not just AT&T or Verizon or, or such and such. So an old burner phone, if you are not willing to spend the few dollars or have an old one laying around, get a... Uh, charger, uh, just one of these little battery packs. This is an anchor. It works really well. I've used it for a long time and it still works. I keep a cord to go to my phone in here, but I'm using it on a camera right now to keep it charged up while I make videos. Um, but that's a that's an option for you as well. So guys, I appreciate you watching. This is my second line kit. Um, this is the things that are in it. It's close to me all day but it's not immediately on me. And remember, you need to prepare to thrive while others survive. Thanks.